हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ निक्की दरू ऑफ फार्म डी थर्ड इयर फ्रॉम मालिबा फार्मेसी कॉलेज टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन द ड्रग अमिलोराइड हाइड्रोक्लोराइड लेट्स सी द हिस्ट्री अमिलोराइड हाइड्रोक्लोराइड वाज फर्स्ट सिंथेसाइज एंड डिस्कवर्ड बाय मार्क शार्प एंड डोम रिसर्च लेबोरेटरीज इन लेट नाइनटीन इंट्रोडक्शन अमिलोराइड हाइड्रोक्लोराइड इज एन एंटी कैलोरेटिक डायरेटिक एजेंट डिराइड फ्रॉम पैराज एंड कार्बोनार ग्यूनाइड that is unrelated chemically to other unknown anticalorotic or diuretic agents it is the salt of moderately strong base pk that is 8.7 it is designated chemically as 3,5 diamino 6 chloro n diamino methylene pyrazine carboxamide monohydrochloride dihydrate its molecular weight is 302.12 its empirical formula is C6H8Cl and 7OHCl to H2O each tablet contains following inactive ingredients that is DNC yellow dibasic calcium phosphate microcrystalline cellulose and silicon dioxide and colloidal silicon dioxide let's see the class and categories as we all know amiloride is a diuretic directly acting inhibition of sodium channel pharmacological category is specifically it is of potassium sparing diuretics and also used as antihypertensive agent brand name is midamor therapeutic use it is usually used with other diuretics in water pills also used to treat high blood pressure i as already i further said it is also used as antihypertensive agent in patient who have low amounts of potassium in their body let's see the mechanism of action of amiloride how it works it blocks the sodium channel into the collecting ducts which results in the modest excretion of sodium into the urine as we can see in this diagram moreover this process inhibit the enzyme sodium potassium atpase at basolateral membrane and further decreases the potassium excretion into the lumen through the potassium channel thus this diuretic results in the potassium sparing effect and therefore used in the combination with thiazide or loop diuretics to prevent hypokalemia it blocks luminal amiloride sensitive renal epithelial sodium channel as i further said decreases reabsorption of sodium in dcd that is distal convoluted tubule and cd collecting duct luminal and further it does not get developed into the luminal negative charge and so there is less secretion of potassium from principal cell and less secretion of hydrogen from intercalated cell pharmacokinetic absorption 30 to 90% distribution that is 350 to 380 liter metabolism it does not undergo hepatic metabolism excretion urine 50% as unchanged drug onset of action within 2 hours and effect till 6 to 10 hours time of peak 3 to 4 hours duration of action is 24 hours half life elimination normal renal function is 6 to 9 hours and for renal impairment it takes 12 21 to 144 hours 144 hours side effects hyperkalemia increase in the potassium level anorexia loss of appetite dyspnea shortness of breath encephalopathy alteration of brain functioning muscle cramps dizziness cough nausea fatigue dose in the adults with hypertension thyroid induced hypokalemia renal impairment the dose is 5 to 10 mg per day and also for normal adults it is 5 mg per day for pediatric it is for hypertensive it is 0.4 to 0.6 mg per kg per day and should not exceed 20 mg per day for normal patient normal pediatric patient it is 5 mg for geriatric it is 20 mg route of administration oral as per the doctor advise administered with food or milk to avoid gi upset contraindication contraindication in the patient with hyperkalemia it is also contraindicated in the nephrogenic diabetes insipidus in infants 
and amyloride is also contraindicated in the patients with anuria and renal disease drug drug interaction acetaminophen aspirin salicylates can increase the risk of renal insufficiency in patient who are receiving diuretics and secondary to the effects of renal blood flow betamethasone the manufacturer of spironolactone leads corticosteroids as potential drug that interacts with spironolactone and intensify electrolyte depletion and further causes hyperkalemia lithium reduces the renal clearance and add high risk of lithium toxicity ansets reduces the diuretic natriuretic and, and hypertensive effects of potassium sparing and thiazide diuretics natriuretic meaning it is a process of sodium secretion in urine through action of kidneys and it is promoted by ventricular and arterial natriuretic peptides as well as calcitonin enalapril amyloride should be used very cautiously with agents that have potential to induce hyperkalemia patient counseling one should not use salt substitute or low sodium milk product that contain potassium too much salt will cause your body to retain water and so the medication effect is very less serum potassium creatinine and burn level should monitored frequently warning and precautions fluid electrolyte changes may decrease sodium and chloride and increase burn especially with concomitant diuretic therapy close medical supervision is always required drug related concern adrenal insufficiency avoid use of diuretic for treatment of elevated blood pressure in the patients and with primarily adrenal insufficiency known as addison's disease cirrhosis in cirrhosis avoid electrolyte and acid base imbalance that might lead to hepatic encephalopathy diabetes if possible avoid using patient avoid using in patient with diabetes mellitus and if it is not avoided use with extreme caution and monitor electrolyte and renal function closely discontinue amyloride at least 3 days prior to glucose tolerance testing mcq let's see the mcq first amyloride is this type of derivative option a pyrazinamide guanidine option b paraminophenol c polyglutamate d all of the above and the correct answer is pyrazinamide guanidine second amyloride is also useful as an off label indication in cervicitis fibrosis little syndrome and achard syndrome the correct answer is little syndrome um little syndrome meaning it is it inherited form of high blood pressure that begins in the early age in maybe in adulthood or childhood third amyloride is not effective in case of dash compared to spironolactone option a hyperbilirubemia hyperaldosteronism option a none of the above correct answer is hyperaldosteronism fourth amyloride has synergistic effect when combined with dash drug option a acetaminophen b dexamethasone c furosemide and d azax the correct answer is dexamethasone medicine that inhibit epithelial sodium channel option a amyloride b mannitol c epilirinone d methotrexate the correct answer is amyloride source is taken of a to z drug facts.com pedia.net and slide share thank you